Hi YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark. I'm going to read some more from our book, Population Control Through Nuclear Pollution, by Arthur Tampa and John Goffman. I'm not going to make any comments. I just ranted for 20 minutes or so. I'm sorry about that, but honestly, the seals are dying, and they're saying it's a mystery. Five nuclear meltdowns going on in Fukushima. Sellafield, Hanford. The entire northern hemisphere is polluted with nuclear contamination. And they're wondering why the seals are dying. Mystery. Mystery. So it, it pushes me to read the rest of this book. We are on Chapter 5, Lip Service to the Public Health. And don't you love my double glasses? I do. We're on page 92, Mythologies of Rationalization. In the atomic energy field, but by no means limited to it, promoters have carefully cultivated what we would call Mythologies of Rationalization. <clears throat> BP. Hello. Consciously or unconsciously developed, these mythologies can be most properly be regarded as an invention to serve the purposes of a promoter of technology. The mythology must provide some hope that the pessimistic hazards will somehow disappear or never appear. If this hope is provided, it is the most elementary step in the world for the promoter, even the, quote, protector, unquote, to gradually translate by rationalization that hope into a belief and a belief into a fact, <clears throat> i.e., no climate change by uh, the energy cartel. And once this is accomplished, there are no longer any worries about hazards. Let us examine two of the outstanding mythologies so ingrained in the atomic energy fairy tale as to have lulled even us to a sleep for all too long. Let me repeat that paragraph. Let us examine two of the outstanding mythologies so ingrained in the atomic energy fairy land as to have lulled even us us to sleep for all too long. <clears throat> the first myth goes as follows. Most cases of radiation, cancer, leukemia, and other injury have been observed when the dose of radiation was quite high. This was true up until recently. Therefore, the myth continues, maybe there exists some smaller amount of radiation that is a, quote, safe threshold, unquote. By this is meant that possible cancer, leukemia, or even more a deadly genetic injury won't occur provided that the total radiation dose is kept below some, quote, magical, unquote, number. Certainly, this is a most convenient hope, especially for the atomic energy promoters. But it is a, a, a hope unsupported by any, unsupported by any, repeat by, my, by me, unsupported by any scientific evidence. But it is a hope unsupported by any unscientific evidence. Numerous supposed items of evidence which have been brought forward to support the hope of a, quote, safe threshold, unquote, have been discredited by numerous reputable scientists repeatedly. Get that, you guys? Hello, Art Robinson. Repeatedly discredited, repeatedly discredited. There, they were discredited so thoroughly that the highly responsible International Commission of Radiological Protection 
simply refused to consider the possible existence of safe radiation thresholds in its own evaluation of the numbers of cancers and leukemia to be expected for each amount of radiation exposure. Do you get this? Listen to this. The highly responsible International Commission on Radiological Protection simply refused, simply refused to consider the possible existence of safe radiation thresholds. Simply refused to consider the possible existence of safe radiation thresholds. You get that? The highly responsible International Commission on Radiological Protection simply refused to consider the possible existence of safe radio radiation thresholds in its own evaluation of numbers of cancers and leukemias to be expected for each amount of radiation exposure. Even the Federal Radiation Council refuse to consider acceptable any evidence for a, quote, safe threshold, unquote, of radiation. Wow. But the promoters of atomic energy technology keep hoping that somehow, somewhere, evidence will be developed that a, quote, safe, unquote, amount of radiation exists. At Lawrence Laboratory, the reins of leadership in the biomedical program passed from Goffman's hands in 1966 so he could return to laboratory research. Right, you mean he got run out of the nuclear industry. The present leadership, Roger Batzel, Associate Director, and Bernard Shaw, Division Leader, reflect the atomic energy promotion philosophy. How? We are treated to the spectacle of the biomedical division now listing as one of the major endeavors a program entitled The Search for a Safe Threshold of Radiation. Seek and ye shall find even the little man who isn't there. <laughs> this guy kind of has a funny sense of humor, doesn't he? In the early period of atomic energy, the direct evidence of injury both for man and experimental animals, was for large, large radiation doses, 100 rads, 100 rad, rad, I'm sorry, 100 rad units or more. This provided a fabulous opportunity for the promoter. Maybe there is a threshold somewhere below rads 100. As if we promoters never gave anyone over, say, 20 rads, will be below the safe threshold. And then we can go forward with the exploitation of the technology, gung-ho. Having translated hope into reality in their minds, their promoters proudly proclaim their responsible concern for public health. They would never consider giving the public more than the, quote, hope to reality, unquote, safe threshold. No, no. But a time, ha but time has a way of passing and providing evidence that shatters the promoter's hope dream. Both in men and experimental animals, strong direct evidence has shattered the promoter's dream of a safe threshold with respect to cancer and leukemia production by radiation. In an ex in the experimental animals. Direct at, I'm sorry, let me start again. In the experimental animals, direct evidence clearly shows production of cancer down in the 10 to 20 rad dose region. Oh my God. 10 to 20 rad dose region. We're way above that now. What happened to the quote, save, unquote, threshold? Uh, I think that was just my question before I read that last sentence. So I'm going to stop here. We're on page 94. Uh, I'm sorry, you guys, that I commented too much and I started, it made it too long. But I don't know how you feel, but this is like 
totally pisses me off, man. These motherfuckers know exactly what they're doing. And, and why? Like, the question is, it's beyond complete humanity. I mean, I call them Caligulas. That is actually what I refer to them as, as Caligulas. But they're beyond Caligula. There has to be their own word, like... I don't know. Well, I, I prefer to call them Reformed. I prefer to believe that they're going to stop before they destroy us all. And I believe that these people will begin to get a conscience and say, you know what, we're not going to just test for bullshit. We know what we need to say. And they're just going to start leaking or saying what they need to do. I mean, they need to not be intimidated by the Obama administration. Because people will stand behind you. There will be a lot of people standing behind you when you break ranks. And you will see a difference in your own life. So, ciao, you guys. I'm going to stop venting a little bit more. Uh, that piece about the... The seals really got to me today. So, it's not a mystery. It's radiation. And it's everything that they are refusing to acknowledge. Everything else plus. So, responsibility looks forward. Blame looks backwards. So, I choose responsibility. Chat, you guys.